Good day. I would like to extend my sincere gratitude to Purdue University for adding me to the list of distinguished engineers, alumni, and for taking a note of my career and giving me this recognition. Although I joined un the university over 54 years ago in 1967 as a 22-year-old wanting to learn and be challenged, this occasion has allowed me to time travel and relive my years at the university as it were yesterday. Coming to the U.S. from India, in 1967 with a borrowed $3,000 debt with hardly speaking English and joining Purdue's MSME course was a major milestone in my life. As a kid born in a struggling lower middle class family, ninth of nine children in a house with no running water or electricity, it was quite a task to survive and win over daily challenges instead of designing career goals and preparing five-year vision plans for my future. Lending up Purdue was a game changer for me as it put me right at the front seat of the upcoming tech revolution in America. For that and for opening up more possibility than I had expected. I thank the university and my professors for helping me succeed as a student and preparing me to be an efficient professional. Memories from Purdue are mind-boggling and it still reminds me almost every day my journey at Purdue. Let me tell you more about, let me share a story with you about my time when I graduated from a mechanical engineering program at Purdue University doing my master. I was able to complete my courses in 11 months as opposed to the regular course duration of 1.5 years. I was lucky to receive three job offers from some of the biggest companies in America. 1968 was a race to put men on moon and Vietnam War was in full swing. NASA and defense were sucking up engineers. America was struggling to get available talent for the industry. One of the three companies was IBM. Now IBM was and still is one of the most prestigious companies to work with at that time. However, giving in to my aversion to be one of the thousands of engineers at IBM and rather joining a smaller team expecting a steeper learning curve, I declined IBM. My foreign student advisor was not happy that I did that. I guess I had to bring out my true boilermaker spirit in pursuit of a hands-on job. In short time, I learned computer, programming, admiration for high-tech work, hard work, ask questions, and ability to learn from many while respecting all. I also understood many of the culture of Midwest of America. Getting to America was biggest risk and acquired ability to take risks. After working for 15 years in Cleveland and Port Wayne, I joined rapidly growing export import company started by my wife MSI in our basement with two growing sons. Today, after 46 years, our Indiana Corporation, MS International, MSI, is a family-owned, privately held enterprise 
headquarter in southern california with over 2000 employees in america supporting 180000 jobs in 34 countries or force 40 facilities in many metro areas of usa canada over 6 million square foot print for distribution of our product and geographic reach to 90% population in 90 mile radius of each facility will celebrate this year basement to 2 billion dollar revenue i use my engineering knowledge every day to guide and coach 100 plus leaders at msi if i have to sum up one word of advice to all engineers be adaptable world is changing fast and rate of change is accelerating use technology for leap frogging processes and procedures thank you and good day